Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. Um, I'm waiting for my screen to switch. Yes, we are joining Rosalina as she is about to make her encounter with the moon, but is going to take this opportunity as the furthest Kerbin ever from Earth to uh, collect some data. Radio it back in. Telemetry analysis, while high over Earth, will net us four and a half. A crew report will net us another five. If she's not done, it's time for a very quick EVA, in which she will collect an EVA report. That's worth 40 science. Jesus. And we'll jump back in and uh, review stored data, transmit that one home. Uh, the mission's been going pretty well. She does need to make an adjustment to her telemetry, which she will be doing in uh, about six hours bring her closer to the moon, and then another adjustment to put her in orbit. So we uh, have in fact decided to just go ahead and go for the orbital maneuver. So I'm just going to fast forward time just a bit. As you can see our plotted trajectories here before and after adjustment. Uh, it turned out our flyby was just not close enough to satisfy our crewed flyby contract. So we're, uh, we're just going to go for the, the whole shebang and try to nail orbit. All right. Let's fire up those RCS thrusters and get ourselves at least angled in somewhat the correct direction. We've got about five minutes until our burn, which should be plenty of time. 40 science added. That only took six hours to radio in. You sure do have a lot to say, Rosalina. All right, and let's just pick up this time warp just a bit. Actually, we can go ahead and do this early. Are we within? No, we are not within the moon's SOI yet. Yeah, we still have this big squirrely path to travel. Now we are within the moon's SOI, and now our node is pointing in a completely different direction. What? What is that? What the shit is happening? Here, all right. Let's let's just replot this whole thing. Ooh, you do not want to be on a collision course there. Uh, I did come in on the wrong side of the moon. That was my mistake. All right, uh, that's our burn. It says 51 minutes. We're just going to go ahead and do it now. So let's start our ullage. Uh, really, I just want to get below 100 kilometers. That's going to make low science. And, uh, well, yeah, it's going to make it so we can get low science, and it's going to make our burn into orbit that much better. Oh, still 162, really? Let me just delete this node, because that's distracting me. 158. Stability control would be nice. Oh, crap. Yep, that was too much. Alright, so... <laughs> we'll just make another adjustment. And yeah, we better hit orbit or we're going to get flung off into deep space. Uh, the trials of coming in on the wrong side of the moon and why we decided to go ahead and push for orbit so that we can have an easier time trying to get back. Alright, right about here... Docking mode. And we'll just bring this up using our RCS system. Come on. Oh, sorry about the dogs. Okay. Closer, closer, closer. Should we risk it at 40 something? I don't know. That's. I'll settle for 60. That seems like it's out of the range of things that might suck. All right, and radio in some science. Telemetry analysis we have, but a crew report we do not. And EVA report, that's 60 science, sweet. Jump back in. 
Review store data, transmit. Oh, we're getting so paid for this one. All right, uh, well, I need to jump back here and see my Delta V, 1345. So what is it going to take to put us in a good orbit? Uh, like 700, that's more than half. But if we get good and low over here, well actually we'll be good and low over here and that would be a good place to springboard. And we'll be after our apoapsis, so we'll be accelerating. So really we can just do something like that probably for 527 meters per second. That's not bad. All right. So let's warp to the node. Uh, please don't let me miss it this time. And we're going to come out a couple minute, a uh, minute or so ahead so we can get some low science. 17 hours. What's our life support looking like? Yeah, yeah we're good. And there's our failed mapping mission. Not mapping. I think it's gotten up to about 40% and then it just stopped. Seven hours. Six. Okay. Little, <laughs> little taps. Little taps. Yeah, that was like three hours. Now we're going to start really speeding up here. We're still space high. One hour. Still space high. As soon as that goes space low, I'm jumping out of time warp and doing what we need to do. Nope, still space high. It just changed like five different biomes all at once. And I was like, oh goodness. But yeah, we're coming in. Good and low. Seven minutes. Space just above the moon's midlands. All right, let's do this. First, radioed in. Telemetry analysis. Crew report. EVA. EVA report, 70 science. Payouts just get better and better. View stored. Transmit. Fire that RCS system up. That one's still full. Good. I wonder how much we've got in our little tank. 107. Doing great. So crew reports are biome specific, but EVA reports are not, which is good. That means her EVAs, at least so far for this mission, are pretty much done. We got three minutes to node. All right, one minute 30, one minute. 45 something odd seconds. We're just going to go ahead and start our ullage now. And we're good. And there's orbit. I think we changed biomes. We did. So I guess we got Midlands and the Lunar Seas. Sixty by two point two million. That's uh, it's not too bad. We are in orbit of the moon. 
And contract complete. Science data from space around the moon. Paid us 11 grand. Sounding rocket high. Two grand. All right, where's my lunar flyby? A crude lunar flyby. Yeah, here we go. Lander splash down at Earth. Awesome. Okay, that's that. So let's uh, let's start plotting to go home, just in case. Right here would be good. That's 613 meters per second. Jesus, how much do we even have? Uh oh, 700, and that doesn't quite get us home. Now it's starting to be not effective. What? Forty seven, we can go a bit higher. 131, that's entirely too high. 47, a little higher. 53. 87, that's not bad. And that'll only cost 765. We have 826! Oh, thank goodness. We're gonna make it. She's coming home. Oh, it's going to be brilliant. All right, well, our note is in three hours. Until then, let's collect some things. Lunar seas, lunar seas, lunar seas. Lowlands. Uh, we just missed space low. Really? No, since we're in space high now, we, it's not biome specific. I don't know if we're going to be in space low again, so we've probably just maxed out. Damn it. I missed the biome. Yep. All going to be space high from here. That's an interesting crater. Okay. And many apologies. KSP crashed. Uh, luckily it had auto-saved after I created the node, so uh, we didn't really miss out on much. Just uh, an irritating gap in time. But we still have about two hours until our node. Uh, that's just pretty. Let's take a good long look at that. Okay. I uh, need to stop being distracted and I need to start paying attention. Because this burn is pretty crucial. <laughs> Messing it up will... Uh, messing this up will <laughs> strand our brave Kerbinaut. The first one to go to the moon. The first one to see it with her own eyes. And we still got a couple of dangers here. Namely, this uh, free return trajectory, which is... <sighs> we've never attempted it before, uh, and certainly not rated for it on this heat shield, so we really don't quite know if it's going to work. So maybe we'll try to come in just a little high and use the last of our fuel to slow ourselves down a bit, so I'm not sure, I'm just not sure if it's going to make it, to be really, really honest. Okay. Six minutes. I can stay in time warp just a little while longer. But the good news is we'll have some fuel left over. So if we need to make a correction burn, we can totally make a correction burn. Thank goodness. Okay. Three minutes. Don't warp past the node. It's 90% of my challenges here in KSB is... Will it lift off and don't work past the node? So, pro tip for anybody just starting to play. Don't work past the node. Alright. Oh, I may have overdone it. Alright. Uh, 
staging mode is probably where I need to be. Uh, just the action of spinning around has all edged our engines. That's great. And there's Earth. A pale blue dot off in the distance, looking magnificent as ever. Come on, get to the node. Alright, and we're going. I really should be monitoring. Oh, we got lots of hydrazine. I can go ahead and just lay on this. We still have some up here in this cap in this uh, pod also. That was primarily for our correction thrusters for re-entry, but I would rather use it to make sure that we get home safe. We have some HTP in the pod for its own reaction control system that can do most of that orienting. As you can see, our fuel is running a little shy. Shut down. Let's just see where we're at. We were a little late coming off of that one. Alright, our current periapsis is 435. Alright, let's see if we can make a correction here. Tell me my oh, because it's a collision course. Four three five ninety three. Sixty nine is too much. Seventy two. Okay, that's in four minutes. Let's turn our RCS back on. We're going to do this entirely on our RCS thrusters because we have fifty five meters per second left. Ah, oh. eek. Well, good thing we have lots and lots and lots of life support, so if she needs to make uh, one or two breaking burns, she can. That's always cool. Oh man, uh, completely running on fumes. I don't like this at all. Alright, let's just... Docking mode, good, good. Uh... I wonder how much delta V we can impart with the this, the hydrazine in this tank. No, we're certainly going to be using it, absolutely all of it, and that is for sure. Uh, once again, with the WAC node. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Oh man, it's in 21 days? Uh oh. Ooh, maybe we don't have time to make another pass. It's 74, so we'll certainly be doing lots of braking by then. Oh buddy. Alright, um... Well, we've got lots of stuff in here. So, in, in, in. Just keep ourselves nice and flush. Waste and waste water. Out, out. Yeah, I know this is pretty... I guess we don't really need to be doing this, but why not? Oh, I forgot to put the lithium hydroxide tablets back in. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Our carbon dioxide is not built up very much, but we're only eight days into this. we got another 21 days to go until we get home. So, oh, let's all keep our fingers crossed. This may not go very well at all. But we'll just sit here in the time warps backspace to refocus on the target on the active vessel. That's a neat little trick that I wish I had known about a long, long time ago. 
Alright, it's, uh, you know, I have a thing that will tell me how long stuff is going to last. It's TAC life support. <coughs> 34, 28, 79. So the 21 days to get home shouldn't be a huge problem if we re-enter on the first shot. Which, maybe we won't. I'm certainly going to try. Uh, man, with this trajectory, she's going way, way out there. Her, her speed is going to be absolutely ridiculous. We gotta turn on the scrubbers. Alright, activate CO2 scrubber. Scrubber is running. And that zeroes out our electric charge. It's fine. We are at an optimal angle. Okay. Not a whole lot else we can do. For some reason, can't click on our other life support tank. That would have been nice. Just have that one also. I should top that one off, huh? Except I can't click on it. That's nice. Eight days. Just eight more days. Why can't I click on that tank? There we go. I figure the more I can keep in the pod, the better. Because uh, that's what's going to be riding with us. If we have to make another lap after that's spent, then, well, that's spent. So becomes this crucial balance. All right. Eight days. Cheating man's quick save. KSP is starting to run like junk again, so it's probably going to crash, just like we are. So even with the scrubbers on, our CO2 still builds up. Well. I'll go now. Rosalina, we're all praying for you. Is she going to make it? Will she have enough supplies to get home? Will she survive re-entry? You're just going to have to wait until next time. Until then, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'll see you next time.